We're used to it now, watching our games with empty stands, virtual fans, or cardboard cartmans. The fake crowd noise helps, but still, it doesn't feel real. And there is no place we'll miss a real crowd's roar more than in Edmonton this Christmas. There is nothing like a World Juniors in Canada. And they're ready to blow the lid off in Vancouver. Ask anyone who's ever played in one. This game and this day, something you will never forget. An endless sea of red, white, and loud. Nothing like this. There's nothing like it at all. Listen to these fans. That's five, Canada, five. Here we go. That's what we're talking about. Where teenagers many Canadians had never heard of become chantable names within a few brilliant games. A shot tipped and stopped by Pogge. What a save by Justin Pogge. Most of the year, we Canadians aren't united like this. We aren't one hockey nation, but seven deeply divided ones. It's not just Habs fans versus Leaf fans or Flames hating on Oilers. You love your team and every other Canadian club can go to But every Christmas is our two-week unspoken truce, where your team's draft pick and that team you hate's pick play on the same line, and you go nuts every time they connect. Tavares backhand towards the goal, loose puck, everybody's got it! Tie game! Can you believe it? And that will surely happen again in these bubbled World Juniors. But this time, the roars will be confined to our family rooms and basements. The World Junior crowd, Canada's extra skater, is stuck at home this year. A break for the other nations, I guess, though their players will tell you playing in front of those huge Canadian crowds is just as big a thrill for them. So no, it won't be the same. But the hockey will, and that's what truly makes the juniors special. The passion of the players, no matter what flag they wear. Empty stands, full hearts.